What's up YouTube? Brian here with KME Tech Support. Let's talk about KME clamping and full flat grinds. All right guys, so generally we don't uh, like to toot our own horns. We like the results of the KME sharpener to speak for themselves. But there is a lot of confusion out there. I get the question quite often about will the KME hold full flat ground blades and will they be centered in the clamp? Will they be off side to side? 90% of the sharpening systems on the market out there, everything but the KME that has a clamp, has a clamp similar to this. Not dogging this particular manufacturer, they all pretty much work the same. When you have uh, your blade in there, you've got a, a big gap there. If you can see the uh, area under there, the blade is pinched off at one point, so it is not centered by any means in the clamp. Might be easier to flip that over to see the gap. And then what you have is you have off-centered angles side to side because the knife might not be centered in the clamp and it's easily flexible, has a lot of movement. So what is a full flat grind? A full flat grind is a knife that has one single grind from the spine down that's fully flat. Then you have a V edge. So you have a taper from the top of the spine down to where it gets thinner at the edge. Then you have a taper from the back of the spine to the front to the tip where it gets thinner as it goes, eventually getting very thin. Um, those give clamp systems a tricky situation to clamp. Our system will clamp them better than any system on the market. This is a fairly thick RTAC 2 by Ontario that I've got in the clamp here. This is, um, I'm not, I can't remember the thickness on it. I did measure it. Uh, but we can do a full flat ground knife or a full height convex up to 3 16 an inch thick and still be solid in the KME. So with this particular knife here, if you look at it from the top and the bottom, I apologize for the puppy upstairs, flip the knife over. You can see both sides. We don't have that gap that you saw on the other uh, clamp system that you would see on any clamp system out there. This knife is kind of tricky to maneuver. It's got a couple chips in it, so I'm not that scared of the edge. But uh, you can see that, that that jaw is fully seated. We're not pinching at one point. It gets full contact inside the rubber. It tapers two ways because the jaw is self-centering. It allows us to clamp those fully flat ground or full height convex blades with no issues. All right, so to clamp a fully flat ground blade, let's take this Spyderco Chaparral, for example, full flat grind, distal taper both ways. Uh, what you want to do is get your KME ready. Back the wing nut off a couple revolutions, push forward and the jaws will open, get the knife where you want it in the clamp. We don't have to be exact for the video, but one key is that you always want to pinch on the front half of the jaws. You want your thumb almost halfway on the jaws and halfway on the clamp. Then you want to tighten your wing nut to snug in that position. That allows those jaws to get self-centered on that fully flat ground blade. Then we can hold the jaws and really get some extra leverage to tighten that wing nut you're not gonna tighten it too much. Just have at it, get all the pressure that you can on there. What we end up with is a fully flat ground blade, solidly clamped, both sides, no pinch point. Good to go, ready to sharpen. So then we have the option of maybe you don't have a full flat ground blade, but you have a saber grind like this. This is a flat grind from the portion that you see here, this line here down. You have a flat here, and then you have a ground swedge up top. So in this case, you would ignore that swedge. Just pretend it's not even there when clamping the knife. You would take advantage of the flat and clamp it like that. But if you have a, a swedge that's crazy enough or possibly fullers or something like that, you want to just get the knife in the clamp solidly. That's your priority. Uh, try to ignore those. Look for a flat. Look for a good spot to clamp. All right, guys. So in conclusion, this is the Caribbean I started with. This is a modified spider co I've got, but it's a full flat grind. And here it is in the KME jaws. You have no gap on either side. Nice and solid, self-centered. Going to have the same angle on each side. If you have any questions, please let me know.